Our entire planet is full of mysteries and unique creatures we know nothing about, but there's no other region in the world that can outshine the Amazon in terms of bizarre discoveries. It's jam-packed with strange creatures and extraordinary vegetation. You can find an abundance of creepy critters here, and you ought to be extremely bold to ever visit the region. Today we'll be introducing you to the 20 deadliest monsters found in the Amazon. Make sure you watch till the end and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let's begin. Amazonian Giant Centipede Amazonian giant centipedes are quite large and scary and predatory arthropods found in the Caribbean and South American forests. They grow up to 12 inches in length and are found in a variety of colors such as yellow, black, brown, and red. They often possess dark stripes and yellow legs. They are carnivorous and can eat anything from bats, mice, snakes, lizards, and birds to small mammals, tarantulas, scorpions, spiders, and other insects. Being the human killers, Amazonian giant centipedes are the most dangerous monsters of the Amazon. In 2014, a four-year-old Venezuelan child died as one centipede hiding in a soda can came out and bit him. Black Cayman The black caiman can tear apart the hard shell of a turtle. It's the largest species of alligator. They are inhabitants of the famous savannas of the Amazon basin. They can reach up to 17 feet in length. Several of them weigh as much as a thousand pounds. Generally, they're not aggressive. They're quite fearless and will assault you if you try to get too close to their nest and eggs. They are extraordinarily territorial. Black caimans are nocturnal creatures, so one needs to be careful at night while exploring the greenery. Red-bellied piranha They are scavengers in the Amazon River ecosystems. They can grow up to one foot in length and weigh up to four pounds. They're usually seen in a group of 20 or more. Their red shade on the belly extends from their chins and cheeks to their stomachs. Their bodies are adorned with silver scales along their sides. They possess strong muscles, razor-sharp teeth, and an unbelievable biting force. They generally feed on the fins of other fish, a bit of fish flesh and whatever they can get their hands on, or teeth on. Red-bellied piranhas have caused minor injuries to humans and have also killed people. In 2011, an 18-year-old man was assaulted and killed in Bolivia, whereas in 2015, another 5-year-old Brazilian girl was also attacked and killed by a shoal of red-bellied piranhas. Piraiba Catfish The Piraiba Catfish belongs to the Brachioplatostoma genus. It's a large fish that grows up to 12 feet and is found in the Amazon and Orinoco basins, as well as some other water bodies of South America. These can be man-eaters, as there have been some recorded incidents of them victimizing humans. In the TV series River Monsters, a fisherman was found swallowed from the head and up to his waist by the Piraiba catfish. Subsequently, both the man and the fish died. Piraiba catfish serve as an important source of food and are caught in thousands of metric tons for export and local consumption. Mata Mata Turtle Mata Mata turtles are freshwater turtles mainly found in the Amazon and Orinoco basins. They are huge sedentary turtles weighing approximately 46 pounds and have flattened heads, a horn on their snouts, three barbells on their chin, and a shell resembling a piece of bark. They are scary-looking and monsters for other animals. Generally, they lie static in the water blended with the vegetation and wait for fish to prey on through suction feeding. They expel the water out and swallow the fish as they cannot chew due to the configuration of their mouths. Payara Payara is also known as a water wolf and saber-toothed tigerfish. They are a nightmare for other creatures found in the Amazon basin. They are quite awful fish to look at as they possess long curved fangs which rise from their lower jaws. They can stretch their mouth up to six inches. In addition to their teeth, payaras are lightning fast in the water as their bodies are designed to provide power and speed even in strong currents. They possess caudal fins like fans that help them in moving at great speed. They can attain a size up to 3 feet and weigh up to 35 to 40 pounds, but in the aquarium they restrict to up to 12 inches and about 10 pounds. Electric Eel Electric eels are one of about 500 fish types that are capable of producing electricity. They're native to generally shallow, muddy parts of the Amazon and Orinoco rivers of South America. They can grow up to 8 feet long and weigh about 44 pounds. Electric eels are found in different colors such as gray, blue, black, purple, and white. They're capable of producing enough electricity to light a dozen light bulbs. They can use it for their defense and to kill their prey, and typically use about 700 volts. People may die once they get an electric shock from an eel and fall in the water. Kandiru 
Candy roofish are native to the Amazon basin and are called vampire fish and toothpick fish. On average, they grow up to a length of 16 inches. Reportedly, this parasitic freshwater catfish has been assaulting and parasitizing the human urethra. Reports of such type date back to around the 19th century, with the first documented case of Candiru being removed from the urethra was reported in 1997, when a 23-year-old person from Ita Cochiara in Brazil informed that a Candiru just jumped out of the water into his urethra when he urinated at thigh level in the river. He underwent urological surgery in Manas. However, we cannot comment on the authenticity of the incident. Bull Shark Bull sharks are also known as Zambezi sharks in Africa, whereas Lake Nicaragua shark in Nicaragua. They inhabit warm, shallow waters all around the world. They are aggressive and angry by nature. These are responsible for most of the nearshore shark attacks. They are up to 11 feet long and have a bite force of approximately 1,330 pounds force. Bull sharks inspired the movie and book Jaws. They form a part of the big three of the three shark species that are capable of inflicting serious injuries on people. The others are tiger sharks and great white sharks. South American Rattlesnake South American Rattlesnake is a venomous pit viper which can grow up to 5 feet long and can be distinguished due to its stripes from the base of its head. They also have white or yellowish bellies with grey spots and a grey tail. They possess crotoxin and crotamine neurotoxins in their venom, which can create severe effects on humans. Symptoms include progressive paralysis, impaired vision and auditory disorders, drooping eyelids and life-threatening respiratory paralysis. Some people can experience skeletal muscle and heart damage, aches, pains, tenderness and dark urine caused by myoglobin being released into the blood. Generally, renal failure is the main cause of death. Sawfish Sawfish are carpenter sharks from the family of rayfish that possess sharp transverse teeth resembling a saw. They reach up to 25 feet in length and weigh about 1,300 pounds. They are found worldwide in brackish estuarine and coastal marine waters of subtropical regions, but can also be found in freshwater rivers and lakes. Sawfish are endangered due to their slow breeding process and are also hunted for their fins to make shark fin soup. They are also killed for their unique teeth. Their habitat loss is also a genuine threat, but now they are protected in several countries like the USA and Australia. People are curious about their bodies like sharks, flathead, sandpaper-like skin, and their mouths and nostrils also on the underside of their heads. They have up to 128 blunt-edged teeth on their upper jaw and up to 176 on the lower, arranged in 10 to 12 rows in each jaw. Paku South American paku fish has teeth eerily similar to ours, and these are quite strong. They prefer plants compared to flesh and don't like human meat. They are capable of outpacing native species and also spreading diseases and parasites. Those living in the Amazon and other South American river systems mainly eat plants. They also feed on nuts as well as food pellets. Their strong teeth can crack into most things and are also known to bite humans. Once a toddler was bitten in an aquarium in Scotland. Amazon Giant Leech Leeches attach themselves to human skin. The Amazon giant leech is quite disgusting and it's one of the largest freshwater leeches. They can grow up to 18 inches in length and up to 4 inches in width. They have dark grey and brown colours, however younger ones often have stripes below their backs and patches of colour. They're mostly encountered in the areas of the Amazon river mouth from Venezuela to the Guyanas in coastal wetland marshes. Leeches pose extreme danger to other animals. Young leeches prefer feeding on amphibians before moving to caiman capybaras, domestic cattle and anacondas. Giant Amazon leech is an exceptional swimmer. Giant Otter Otters found in the Amazon are pretty cute and usually grow up to 6 feet and weigh up to 71 pounds. Their ears are all rounded, the nose is covered with fur, they have short and stubby legs whereas the feet are webbed having sharp claws. They are territorially aggressive apex predators who eat everything. They generally feed on fish such as piranha and catfish. They prefer hunting in shallow waters where they find large sedentary fish. They wait until their preferred fish arrives but can also prey on crabs, snakes and even caimans and anacondas. They catch prey and consume immediately by holding the fish between their foreclaws and eating noisily. They can eat up to 10% of their body weight daily. Stingray In South America, stingray is the most dreaded species. They can arch their tail forward by launching an assault with their stinger to stab the prey. A sheath having venom breaks as the stinger pierces into the body and poison can flow into the flesh. 
The venom contains neurotoxins and enzymes which can cause death to cells, muscle contraction, and swelling. Although fatalities are rare but can happen, as in 2006, Steve Irwin died from a stingray stinger which penetrated his thoracic wall, pierced his heart, and caused huge trauma and crazy bleeding. It was the second death recorded since 1945 in Australian waters. Decoy Building Spider This species of spider is found in South America and many areas of the world. They are small orb builder spiders. They have to have a clever way of eating and surviving. Decoy building spiders build a web and create fake spider to sit in it, which is usually much bigger and made of debris, food, carcasses, and even its old skin. It makes the fake spider more authentic by giving it legs pointing toward the ground. For the first time, this type of spider was found in a portion of the Tombo Pato River in Peru, whereas another was discovered in the Philippines. The fake spider is used for luring prey and also as a measure of defense. Arapaima Arapaimas, also known as Paiichi and Piroruku, are fish having large bony tongues and found in South America's Amazon and Essequibo basins. They form part of some of the largest freshwater fish on the planet. They can reach up to a length of 10 feet and weigh up to 440 pounds. People hunt them for their tongues and boneless steaks, therefore the population is decreasing substantially. However, this fish was shown on the TV show River Monsters in the first season called The Amazon Assassins as the host Jeremy Wade had traveled to the Amazon. He wanted to investigate what caused the toppling of local canoes. He managed to catch a mature female arapaima. In another incident, Jeremy also examined the Sobral Santos disaster, which followed the 1981 shipwreck of a riverboat that led to the death of over 300 people. Poison Dart Frog Poison dart frogs in the Amazon have different patterns and colors. These colors are used to warn predators that these frogs are toxic and dangerous. These frogs are residents of Central America and South America. They mostly live on rainforest floors, whereas some of them also dwell on trees. Most frogs of this species have poison in their skin, which can cause swelling, nausea, and paralysis if touched or eaten. The golden dart frog is extremely poisonous and can cause death. They're so toxic that one milligram of their poison is sufficient for killing 10 to 20 people. Indigenous Embara people inhabiting Colombia use their venom for blowgun darts. Researchers have estimated that there are only around 170 milligrams of toxin available in the world. Side-necked turtle These turtles are also referred to as Astro-South American side-necked turtles and are found in Australia, New Guinea, Indonesia, and the greater part of South America. Their fossil history is traced back to the Cretaceous period. Even today, they look fossilized. They place their necks sideways in their shell, whereas several other species fold their neck vertically. They're also aquatic and can stay submerged in the water for long times with the help of their webbed feet. They are strike and gape hunters, therefore they can be aggressive towards humans when threatened and can scratch with their claws. Some of them are foragers and eat fish, invertebrates, and gastropods. Some even feed on fruit and grow quite large, whereas some smaller species measure 6 inches. White-throated snapping turtles of the same family can grow up to 18 inches long. Green Anaconda It's extremely difficult to face the heaviest and one of the longest snakes in the world, a green anaconda. On average, it's 17.1 feet long and weighs about 154 pounds. They're found in South America and are non-venomous. They are boa constrictors as they constrict their victims. They patiently wait for their prey and coil their bodies around the prey and suffocate them to death. Generally, green anacondas feed on flesh mammals, birds, and amphibians. They're also recorded to be cannibals with instances of large females devouring smaller males. They usually don't harm humans, as very few deaths are attributed to this monster. Now that you know what sort of creatures are out there in the Amazon, do you think you're up for paying a visit? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. We'll be back soon with another amazing video for you guys. Until then, have a great time.